Because 50 years ago, the crass answer to the question, why do you sleep, was the following. You sleep to cure sleepiness, Mm -hmm. which is the fatuous equivalent of saying, well, you eat to cure hunger. No, you don't eat to cure, cure hunger. You eat to support all sorts of physiological and biological benefits. But now, and this is not due to my research, this is all of the incredible colleagues whose sort of shoulders that I stand on, we've now had to upend the question. We now have to ask, is there any major physiological system in your body or is there any operation of your mind that isn't wonderfully enhanced by sleep when you get it or demonstrably impaired when you don't get enough? And the answer now seems to be, no, we, there is no such system even down to the level of your DNA, your sleep and how you are sleeping or not sleeping will change the very DNA nucleic alphabet that spells out your daily health narrative. And we can see it all the way up to society. Sleep can change the fabric of society, can change how we interact with other people. It can change our belief systems. It can change how lonely or sort of hypersocial we are. So to your question, I'm a sleep scientist by trade. And I suppose my mission has been trying to reunite humanity with the sleep that it seems to be so bereft of.